everyone, I'm Annie and today I will show you guys how I made this blouse from this one and a half yard of uh, canvas fabric. It is a very cute uh, detailed flower printed fabric. Of course I use mood fabric free pattern from this process. I put the link down the description. Here are all the pattern pieces that I use from the Antea dress. As you can see, these are the main pieces of the blues and uh, also I use the sleeve pattern but I extended it a little bit because I want a long sleeved blues. So let's move on and cut out everything according to pattern's instructions. you can see that I extended a little bit the length of the sleeve. I just measured my arm and this is the length that I needed. I transferred it to the fabric and I just cut it out. You can better see my marking because it is a very wrong decision to use uh, orange markers on it. So let's cut everything out. Here are all the pattern pieces that I will use for the main structure of the top. As you can see, I cut out this one on the fold. So let's start the process from the middle. I use this middle piece and this uh, side middle piece and I just put them the top of each of them and along this line I pin them together because this has to make my neat uh, stitches with the sewing machine so let's just stitch them together by the way I'm using this uh, Zinger beginner sewing machine so let's start this process uh, and also don't forget that the similar length is included in the pattern I think it's one uh, centimeters let's continue with the other places as you can see, I just repeat this process, I put uh, this one to the top of that place and that's it, I stitch them together and repeat with the last one from this side and now you just do the same things with the other side and that's it, the top is almost ready here it is So let's fold the wall thing and uh, press open with the iron the stitches to make them look more flat. Here is the lining of the top. I use a different uh, type of material but this is also a canvas and I do the same things with it. And also don't forget to press open the seams. These little pieces are the sleeves. I cut out two from both fabric. So let's just flip them and uh, stitch them together along this line and repeat it uh, with the other one but uh, do it uh, a mirror pairs. So just mirror these steps. And here we are finally. This is the trickiest part of this blues. You should attach these sleeves to the main top piece that you made. Make sure that they two are face to face with the wrong side. But uh, this is how it should uh, come out. However, I can't really explain these steps. So I think it's so much better that uh, you just watch it what I will do.
Okay, so I somehow featured it out and I managed it to attach these sleeves to the top. So the next step is that I just uh, flip it inside out uh, this wall top and I will match the edges of these two back pieces and I also stitch them together along this line from the sleeve to the center back. So let's continue with this one. I fold it half and I also make two buttonholes but only in one side. This will be the hole for the straps and I also stitch it down this to make a channel to the straps. I just cut out two 50 centimeters long straps. I fold it back twice and also I fold it half this piece so actually I just made a bias tape from it and of course I stitch it down. So this is the strap that I will use. So I just get through the straps to the channel and I secure it uh, this uh, end of the straps to the main fabric and I also use this bobby pin to get through the channel. And I almost forgot to mention that gather this wall section, so the bottom of this piece, and after you gather it, you should insert it to the place. So let's see how I done it. Basically, I just pin them together and uh, I stitch them together on these pins. So now I secured this place, so let's move to the bottom of the top. Basically, I just flip it inside out, the wall piece, and then I will match the two bottom edges. They are face to face now with the right side. Uh, by the way, this is not the trickiest part of this blues, but it is hard to make. So let's move on to the sleeves. As you can see, I cut out both. Here they are. And now I will use a rubber band to make sure that they get this natural gathering. From the top I measure almost 30 cm and I pin it three places, so both edges and the middle. And I also roll it back twice, the bottom of the sleeve. And I also insert there another rubber band with the three pins and I will stitch it along the rubber band while I stretch it. So this will be the solution for the natural gathering that close the rubber band with the fabric. Let's see how it's done. So let's see, this is the rubber band. They are both slid into the place, but the top one is a little bit too big for me, but I didn't realize it in right time, so let's leave it like that. I also flip it half the sleeve and stitch along this edge, so the sleeve is done. I also gathered the top of the sleeves, as you can see but uh, along the notches from the fabric, um, I mean the pattern, so I transfer these notches and between them I gathered the sleeve. So let's move on and insert the sleeve to the armhole and stitch it down. And we are almost finished with this blouse. Let's do this final step. I have a 21 centimeters long zipper, so let's just uh, put it this half right there and stitch it down. I don't have a tutorial for the 
zipper because I am not very good at it but next time I promise it that I will do it so that's it thank you for watching